AutoCAD PNID includes a tool that helps you assemble a control valve. This tool lets you pick the body of the valve and the controller or actuator as separate components, so the variety of combinations you can create are huge. Let's learn how these items are assembled and placed in a drawing. From the current drawing, locate the instrument line. It appears as a dashed line leading from tank 400. Make sure you have the PNID PIP workspace set current. From the tool palettes, make sure the Valves tab is the active tab. Select the Control Valve tool. The Control Valve browser dialog will appear. The left side lists the valve type, and the right panel includes the available actuators in the project. It's important to note that you can add or remove valves and controllers from the project as needed. From the left, select the globe valve. On the right, select the pressure reducing regulator actuator. Click OK to add the valve to the diagram. Pick a point along the instrument line as I'm showing here. Once the valve is placed, select a point where the tag will be located. When the Assign Tag dialog appears, type 300 for the loop number. Make sure the Place Annotation option is not selected. This particular valve includes a tag for the valve, so you won't need a separate tag. Click OK when you're finished. Now you can see the symbol and tag. Select the valve. At the top of the screen there is a layer panel. Notice how the valve is already placed on an instrumentation layer. This information is embedded in the tag settings for the project, so this is a step you don't need to repeat. While the valve is selected, pick the grip. This allows you to move the valve to a new location along the line. You can turn on the drawing's ortho setting to make moving the valve a little easier. After you move the valve, notice how the line is still masked. That's one of the nice features of AutoCAD PNID. When a symbol is added to the line, it carries the mask with it. Now select the tag. Use the grip to drag it to a new location. Notice how the leader from the valve to the tag moves with the tag. Select the actuator and then right click. Pick the Substitute Actuator tool from the menu. A small icon menu appears. As you move your mouse over the symbols, a tip will appear and show you the name of the actuator. Select the Rotary Motor Actuator. The symbol will update itself and also update the database. The nice part about this feature is the amount of symbol content you won't need to create. By having the actuator separate from the valve body, it opens up a much larger range of choices and easily creates the symbol you need. Thank <laughs> you.